hello guys long time no see <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and in today's video i'm going to be recreating this beautiful beautiful makeup look for your weddings your occasions like anything you have to attend this look will be the best look you can use for any such occasions don't forget to subscribe and let's just jump into the video To begin with, we are going to be priming our skin with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This primer has been my holy grail for years and it still is one of my absolutely best primers. Today I'm not going to go over top this with the top primer like the Becca or my Sasha. I'm just going to leave it like this. I don't want my skin to be too matte. For foundation, I'm going to be making use of my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation and I'm in the shade 7W1 Deep Spice. I am running out of this foundation. <laughs> I have gotten to the bottom of the bottle, but so expensive now. So I want to make sure. Oh, <laughs> just telling myself. I want to make sure I finish this bottle first. I'm just blending out using my Juvia's place foundation brush still my best foundation brush to date seems like we're going to have to take off these earrings so that we don't put foundation on them For concealer, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm just going to be applying that here. A little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and underneath my other eye. I really do not want too much of a highlighted effect. Um, okay. This Too Faced concealer is really, really, really nice. And it gives full coverage. And by the way, guys, this sponge I'm using is the Beauty Line by GD blending sponge. Going back in with our foundation brush, we're going to blend the edges just to prevent any harsh lines. And then I'm going to be setting with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Translucent Honey. My Translucent eventually got finished, so I saved up and got this one. I don't know how I feel about this honey powder though. The formulation remains the same, like still that's Laura Mercier well-known formulation that sits very well, blows the face and everything but I feel like it's still too light for my skin tone and I feel like the translucent blends better into my skin.
we are blotting the brows and the forehead now and I know that baking is not really a thing but I like baking this side of my face because that is where I notice I begin to produce oil quicker so I like to set and bake that area and then we are going to be going into the brows now I am still obsessed with my beauty line by Didi brow brow guys and brow pencil this is I think it just has one shade as always and we are going to fix this brows right now Using my Morphe M421 brush and the Too Faced Bond This Way Concealer in Chestnut, we're going to clean up underneath the brow bone so that the brows look well defined. These brows today are not really twinning, but <laughs> we are going to just manage them that way. For our eyeshadow today, I'll be using my eyeshadow palette, and this is from a Nigerian brand called Zikel Cosmetics. And this is the Zikel Times Lydia Stanley Eyeshadow Palette looks just like this and I'm just going to be telling you the shades that I'll be using from this I'm going to take the shade amber it's like an orange shade and I'm going to just hit that into the crease it's really orangey and guys I absolutely absolutely forgot to do something there's a step I missed I'm going to take the shade Milky Way first and I'm going to use that to set underneath the brow bone I like the matte look under the brow bone I don't like it wet because of the concealer we applied there earlier Next, I'm going to take the shade Omba with my Morphe M513 blending brush. I'm going to take that over the first amber shade we placed just to deepen it up a bit. Okay. Then taking my Morphe M433 blending brush, I'm going to be taking this shade called Ama. And I'm going to put that at the edge right here. Take some more and then I'm going to blend that into the crease just to give some some depth to the eye okay going back in with our transition color without adding anything to the brush I'm just blending everything out so that it looks well blended you can see how beautiful that is looking then taking my BH Cosmetics V5 brush and some of that concealer I'm just going to apply that on my lid to serve as something like a base 
for the shadow that is going to come on it so that the shadow has something to to stick to or to grip rather now for eyeshadow I'm a bit confused I don't know what shade to go for it's a little bit of fallout from this but I want to I want to use a gold shade so I think I'll be using this shade called gold coin no or uh, I want to use a gold mm, yes let's go for a gold this gold is called gold coin I'm just going to pack that all over the lid let's do a gold it's been a while we did the gold smoky eye and gold always goes with everything Now I'm going to go back to that Ama shade that we use in our crease and try to marry these two shades together so that there are no harsh lines and then blend into the crease and I think I want to introduce some black into this so I'm going to be taking that black shade called Risky and applying that at the outer V of the eye And then I'll go over that with our crease color. Okay. Now that looks absolutely beautiful. Now taking my Y Glam Beauty Y106 Eye Essential Brush, I'm going to go back to that Amma shade and I'm going to use that to smoke out my lower lash line. Then taking my Mira Cosmetics Charcoal Eyeliner, I'm going to apply that into my waterline. Okay, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just got this. Liquid, liquid liner from Hega and Esther and I really want to try it out in this video it's called the Hega and Esther Maca Max Out Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen looks just like this let me just shake it up I'm going to apply that okay this is nice I like it it's um it's really black and the Felt tip is easy to use. I like this. I like it. Next, we're going to be applying our mascara. I want to make use of this Daron Lengthening Mascara. It's one of my current favorite mascaras. Like. I can use this mascara and not have need of using false lashes with how much I stand for this mascara um, I just put lash glue on my lashes so while they are drying or getting tacky I want to dust off this powder from underneath my eye I'm just dusting off and then pressing in your your base okay now I'm going to be using my Morphe 
E58 brush looks just like this and my Darren brown skin powder in the shade cocoa so I'm going to be using that to set all over my face Okay, next we're going to contour. But for some reason, I don't know, I have <laughs> left the cream contouring gang. So what I like to do is use my Juvia's Place contour powder with a contour brush and you know contour my face. I no longer use the cream product. Okay, so. First, we're going to take the darker shade. You can see I keep pan, but I have a backup. Use this to contour first and then use this to bronze just to kind of tie everything together so that the contour is not looking harsh. Because if I don't go through that other step, the contour looks really, really harsh and I don't like the, the look it gives. I like to do the boot. I don't know for some reason I'm just dancing a red lip today. What do you guys think? Now I'm taking the bronzing powder shade and just bronzing over the top of the contour. Okay. And then I'm taking my smaller brush I'm just going to contour the sides of my nose just to bring some structure to the nose I don't really like this brush I'm using for nose contour but the brush I normally use is dirty and I wash it just before I decided to film this video today so I have to make do with what I have handy. Okay. Okay, next I'm also going to be taking another Julia Space palette. And this is in the shade dark. The first one I used was deep dark. And then a blush brush. This is from the White Glam Beauty um, brand. Is the White Glam Beauty Face Expert YF70 brush. I'm going to take in this, no, this shade right here. I like to use this as my blush. Now I know Juvia's Place, like they have their blush duo and stuff. But for some reason, I just like. Oh, ah, oh no! I went ham on this. I went home on this. Oh no 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 no! Oh, what do I do now? Okay, we're going to take our beauty sponge and our face powder, and we're going to tone this down, tone it down, tone it down. I'm also going to use that powder to reverse contour because um I have to give some structure to this. Please. Otherwise, it's all been for nothing. What is my brush now? Okay, my powder brush without adding any additional product. I'm just trying to blend everything in. And then we are going to apply our falsies.
taking my Mismetic Silhouette Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'm going to mist all over my face. And as the mist is drying, I'm going to press this into the skin so that it sets everything in place. This look is looking flawless and I'm loving it. Now that that um, has dried, the setting spray has dried, we are going to be lining our lips. I'm just trying to get a lip liner. And I think I want to make use of this Debbie Luster lip pencil in Plum. We are going for a red lip today. Okay. Um, I am confused. I don't know what lip <laughs> lipstick to use. I am confused. Okay, I think I want to use this one from House of Tara. It's called the House of Tara lipstick in MSD. I love this shade of red. It appears pink on camera, but it really is red. Next, we are going to apply our earrings and voila. I think I should scoot closer. There you have it, guys. This is the finished look simple glam you can use this for like occasions weddings anything you have occasion you have um i really don't know how i feel about this um laura Mercier powder in honey i don't know i feel like it made my face right i don't know just still studying it anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you for staying tuned till the end i hope you subscribe to my youtube channel you can't watch this far without sub subscribing please do if you haven't already and i'll see you in my very next video bye guys